was a dart on a bodice. Um, we're using the pivot method um, in drafting, and um, in Valentina, it's the rotate objects. So this is what you're going to do. That's what the end goal is. Um, and I'm doing this because I did not find any videos online to show you how to do this, and the one that did didn't do the complete job showing you how to select the lines so that you can maintain those lines and don't have to redraw them. So this is the brand new Valentina um, version. Uh, maybe it's an old version that other people had when for their videos, but this is the new one. So it's uh, pretty simple. I'm going to undo what I did. Oop, I can't undo what I did. So I'm just going to delete that. Yes. So in order to, uh, I want to slash my bodice here along this uh, princess seam that I've created and move this part and over here and close this dart. So to do that, you select your uh, rotate object tool and down here it says select one or more objects, hold your control. Uh, I'm on a laptop and control doesn't work. I mean, I'm on a MacBook. Um, I use the command. Um, and then you hit enter to confirm your selection. So the big thing that you need to do is you need to select both the lines and the points. So I'm going to start with this line here, this curve. Select that. And I'm holding down control for some people, but for me on my MacBook, again, it's command. Hit that point. I'm going to select that here, here, and here. And, that, and then I'm going to hit my enter to confirm the selection. So that is the part of the garment I want to, part of the pattern I want to rotate. And so next it asks you to select the origin point. This is the pivot point right here. And now it's asking me to, it's letting me rotate it. And you can free rotate it to where you want to and hit enter, but if you want it to uh, grade so that it always uh, so whenever you're doing a different size that it'll m perfectly match the angle. The formula, formula for that is negative um, the angle of this line right here, which I can't move this anymore, Let me, um, but A2, my A2 to um, my bus point uh, line, so that would be um, angle of lines here. A2 to B5, double click to get it on there, and minus my 21. So those are the two lines that were the um, sides of my dart. Again, so you just go negative, then parentheses, your first line that is um, on the outside edge of your dart, minus the other dart line that's on the inside. Hit enter. No, I mean OK. Click OK. And there it goes. It's closed it perfectly. So you have your original line here and then your new line here. And that's how you close a dart while maintaining your um, lines.